it continues to crash around. Everyone is saying it's so obvious. And even Georgie Clooney himself, George Clooney, Georgie boy, calls on Biden to quit the race. Didn't you do a fantastic fundraiser with him? You and everybody else that was there. Everybody was saying, hey, hey, yeah, let's, let's do this for, for Joe Biden. Did you guys like what? Raise like $30 million for Joe? Because it's funny because there's 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 two people here. It's it's, it's This story is going to be a tale of two people. On the one hand, you have George Clooney, actor, close friend to the Democratic establishment. And on the other hand, you're going to have a person named David Peckman. Remember him? This man lives in his, in his own reality. He is not a serious person. Indifferent to potentially Biden, Biden having Parkinson. So let's go ahead and pull up this article here before we pull up David Pakman, because it's going to be funny. Joe Biden should withdraw from the presidential race ahead of the November election. Hollywood star and self-described lifelong Democrat George Clooney wrote an opinion piece for the New York Times published on Wednesday. The U.S. president has been facing calls to step aside ever since his poor performance in the TV debate with Republican challenger Donald Trump two weeks ago. Biden has repeatedly brushed off concerns about his ability to win in November and says he is determined to stay in the race. How are you determined to stay in the race when it's very clear to me, very clear to all of us, that you just don't have what it takes. But it's funny. It's funny to see them all fall apart. In his piece titled, I love Joe. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Audience, audience, audience. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> I love Joe Biden. I think all of you need to do collectively like, oh, can I get that? Oh, in the chat. It should be nice. In his piece titled, I love Joe Biden, but we need a new nominee. Clooney called on Democrats and Biden himself to face reality and admit that the real Biden was the one seen at the debate. Our party leaders need to stop telling us that the 51 million people didn't see what we just saw. I saw it four years ago, Georgie boy. In the article, Clooney repeatedly stated his commitment to the Democratic Party and praised Biden on multiple occasions. Yes, praise Biden for being against busing and desegregation. Praise Biden for, oh yeah, that's right, not standing in solidarity for a woman's right to choose. Praise Biden for writing the crime bill. Praise Biden for voting for the war in Iraq. Praise Biden for prostituting himself to corporations. Yes, praise Biden. Well done, George Clooney, right? but said that the one battle he cannot win is the fight against time. We are going to win in November with this president. Uh, we are we are not going to win. Sorry about that. We are not going to win in November with this president, Clooney wrote, adding that Democrats opted to ignore every warning sign. Yeah, four years ago, people were raising the alarm. Hell, even corporate media, to its credit, even brought it up until they realized that they're stenographers and not journalists. He also stated that if Biden remains on the ticket, the party could lose both the House and Senate as well. Oh, no. Anyways, who cares? Who cares if, if anybody does care? No, no, nobody cares. Nobody cares. No one cares. According to Clooney, that uh, that opinion is shared by every senator and Congress member and governor that I've spoken with in private. Every single one, irrespective of what he or she is saying publicly. Yeah, of course. Clooney then named Kamala. Oh, goodness gracious. Governor Moore, Governor Whitmer, Newsom, Bashar. Oh, my goodness. And even Governor Pritzker, J.B. Pritzker, fucking hell, stupid, among those who could potentially replace Biden. The actor urged top Democrat Senate Majority Leader Chucky Boy Schumer, House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, and former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to ask Biden to voluntarily step aside. But see, Georgie, that's not going to happen. You raised all that money. You hosted that event. Yeah, help bring in the money for the Democrats. You think Biden's going to back down? Democrats, you put this person in charge. It is too late. If you wanted to make your move, you should have done it two years ago. If you wanted to be serious, you would have been all in for a primary. But you didn't do that, Democrats. You didn't challenge Joe Biden. He didn't step aside to pass the torch. But there are so many people in collective denial. And you want to know what collective denial looks like? At one point, I respected this guy. At one point, I viewed him as somebody that I could follow and watch and consume content. At one point, 
I'm embarrassed that I even gave this guy any respect because he is in his own reality. Now, I'm going to speak for myself. If I'm going to vote for somebody or support somebody, they better show me strength and the ability to be aware of their surroundings. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for David Puckman. If President Biden has Parkinson's, so what? It makes no difference to me. It would do nothing to dissuade me from voting for him. The progression of Parkinson's disease and these related Parkinsonian disorders, they really vary, but they are typically slow to progress in the early stages. The first three years, you're talking about stiffness and sometimes mild tremors, minimal impact on daily activities. Almost everyone in the first three years. Hey, David. You got a little white stuff in the corner of your mouth and you got a little brown stuff right there in your nose can perform whatever tasks they were previously performing. You then get into the middle years, three to seven years where symptoms get worse. It can take 15 years to get what would be called late stage Parkinson's. So would it be a big story if the White House were hiding that Joe Biden has Parkinson's? It would. It would. Uh, yeah, it, it, and, it's, and, it's, and it's our job to talk about it, Pacman. It's our job to speak about this, Pacman. Hardlands Media is we 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 got severely ostracized by a lot of people here in Chicago. You know, we were given the middle finger by a lot of people. And again, the consequence that comes with it is being shadow banned, silenced, demonetized, censored, all that good jazz, right? We were proven correct. We were calling out that there was something wrong with Joe Biden, but yet everyone kept on saying, suck it up and vote blue. Same thing for Hill Dog. Didn't you go to bat for Hill Dog too? This man is David. At one point, you might have been viewed as a serious person, but you are not a serious person anymore. Someone who's suffering from Parkinson should not be running from the highest for the highest office of the land. The man is not capable of knowing his ass from a hole in the ground. And yet somehow. You're willing to turn a blind eye to it. I mean, hey, you have diehard faith and you know what? I think it's important for people to believe in things. Truly, I do. But if Georgie Boy and all these other Democrats are realizing what, what's going on, here's a hint. Maybe you shouldn't have been laughing or making fun of progressives and independents when you were saying this for years. Here's where symptoms get worse. It can take 15 years to get what would be called late stage Parkinson's. So would it be a big story if the White House were hiding that Joe Biden has Parkinson's? It would. It would. Does it have any bearing, any bearing? on how I would vote in November. Absolutely none. I'll speak for myself. I am someone that will follow strengths and someone who knows what's going on. OK. I want to at least know if someone's going to be a good leader. I think all of us can agree on that. Biden doesn't exhibit any of those signs. And the thing is, David, I mean, I don't know what kind of echo chamber you're speaking into. Maybe it's the same liberal audience that CNN and MSNBC cater to. But even they're talking like this, too. And in response to those comments from George Clooney, Jake, a campaign official who attended that Los Angeles fundraiser tells me that George Clooney left three hours before the president. So clearly the gloves are off, Jake. What, but what does that mean that George Clooney left three hours? What's, what's the point? And just for context, <clears throat> the Democratic Party, the White House, are saying that George Clooney left the event before Biden did. Because somehow what George Clooney isn't physically fit. I mean, geez, Louise, Biden way to bite the hand that feeds you. See, Democrats, let's say Biden does win his nomination process, like how David Pakman would probably want. You do realize you're creating a bigger monster. The point of that is to suggest that Biden's stamina is better than Clooney's and Clooney didn't have you know eyes on the entire event. That's the response uh, to uh, to the Clooney op ed. Okay. Kayla Kashi, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Um, Karen Finney. Yeah. Okay. I, I will tell you, I know this is your favorite topic. I, I, uh, <laughs> See, now they can laugh. Now they can make fun of them. I remember when all you bastards were on, on that show all the time, be it CNN or MSNBC, saying the otherwise. Pac-Man, you know, the, the liberals in corporate media don't have the same face that you do. Look, it just seems like every day is going to be like this with people 
saying he should drop out. People that are Democratic Party stalwarts. George Clooney gets nothing out of this. This is, I mean, what does he, what does he gain? The, the only reason to do this is because he feels like he needs to convey this. Yeah. Um, it's a, it, how does this end? <laughs> so let's just stipulate to the facts that this is not good. This is bad. Let's just say the <laughs> obvious, right? Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, no shit, lady. Welcome to the club. Hey, we here at Harlan's Media can regale you for days upon days, weeks upon weeks about what we went through for the past four years. It's important for us not to forget the absolute clown show that is the Democratic Party. Except mainstream media, Clooney left a sinking ship. Yep. Yep. Mainstream media. He left a sinking ship. They all are. They don't know how to get off of it, though. Even people like Pacman. Look, Biden is clearly not in his prime. And they're all left wondering what's going on. Now, I was recently talking to my team, and we're going to be covering the DNC convention. Now, here's what I do know. This is the eyes on the ground kind of stuff that's happening here. So huge shout out to my colleagues in independent media. Look, they they are they are probably going to make half the convention online. I don't know how each of us in independent media are going to be covering this event. But when you have all these name brand people, privately and publicly, saying that Biden should step aside, even people within Biden's administration admitting that there's something wrong with Biden, it's very clear to me that something will go down at the DNC convention. Maybe Biden secures himself. Or either that, maybe we'll get a new nominee. But the point is, the Democrats, you've got damage control. The Titanic is sinking. The Lusitania has been hit. All of them are starting to fall to the bottom of the ocean. Hell, Democrats, you're going to implode faster than a Titan sub. And nothing that any actor or actress, nothing that any commentator or politician or donor can do to fix the good old USS Biden. It's going down. It's going to be shaking and stammering all the way until it reaches the bottom muddy floor of the ocean. And all I'm going to do is just say, hey, you had four years to fix it. How is this my problem? Because it ain't. And it's also not your problem either.